Absolutely, yeah, as far as uh, visibility. At the Grand Lake Lodge, the leaves are turning. Fall is well on its way. And General Manager Charity Baxter says it's a time of year that around here, people have been driving to sea for a long time. 100 years. With this historic landmark on the edge of the Rocky Mountain National Park, celebrating 100 years in business. Big summer, it's our centennial, centennial summer. In fact, this property and around 70 of the cabins on it go back to a slower time when you could order a cabin out of a catalog. I'd like one of those cabins and 100 pounds of flour. The cabins are actually original Sears and Roebuck's kit cabins from 1930s, 1940s. So they have a lot of history and character to them. Those cabins have been updated. We've done some work on them. But still look the same. In fact, one of them used to be where Henry Ford would stay on his drives to Colorado. This is the Ford cabin named after Henry Ford. He and his family would stay here in the summers um, in the 20s and 30s. Which might be why there are still two old Fords parked out front next to a front porch known as Colorado's favorite with good reason. The views are phenomenal. On the left we have Grand Lake and on the right we have Shadow Mountain Lake. Just one place where people have been taking in the views for the past 100 years at this lodge. So many stories and memories that have been created. And Charity says we'll be doing for another 100 years to come. We look forward to continuing that tradition for the next 100 years. A lot of great history at this lodge. And so you, in the fall, if you want to come up and see fall colors, you can also save a little bit of money. Your third night, 50% off is the deal they typically do in the fall. But you've got to be quick, because like the fall, it's not going to last for long. This lodge, so old, they didn't winterize the pipes and so close it right around mid-October. And Becky, they're going to need it today. It's about 31 degrees. A little chilly for our drive today as we go check out some of the fall colors and then head on back for a sarsaparilla. Okay, Matt, that sounds like an exciting day for you. I have to tell you, you certainly could see some of those fall colors changing even a little bit early. We've got some drought conditions up there, but that means we could see some aspen gold a week earlier than usual. So great views, I would think, across Great. parts of our northern and central mountains.